So you're saying I don't have any work anywhere? I was supposed to be getting a shipment of scrap cars. It would deliver to the wrong location. Maybe you could go up there and, well, steal them for me, basically. You're letting me stay here, it's the least I can do. We got the electrics mostly working. They're still a bit finicky. We modified the steering wheel. Got my sleeper. Got an actual breather for the side. Oh, and my tongue hurts. So, gotten quite familiar with this bridge by this point. As soon as I get back to that freaking scrapyard, I am changing this clutch! So, this is a place where they, like, fabricate steel, isn't it? The driver that was supposed to be picking up these cars just showed up at the location I got them from. And he actually had paperwork, so now they know that someone took the cars that wasn't supposed to. For the record, I did not steal those cars. I sold them back. They were supposed to be going to rent in the first place. Rusty? Hello? Jesus, thank fucking Christ. Zena, whatever you're fucking doing, drop it and get your ass to Bellingham right now. Bellingham? Isn't that up north? Aye. Is there a fucking problem with that? You need to get to Bellingham now. Yeah, there's a Mason problem with that. I just passed an exit. <laughs> I don't care what you just passed. Mason's in the fucking hospital. Hospital? Again? <sighs> Look, I don't know the full story. I'm still on the way there myself. But all right, all right. I'm getting off the highway. Just what happened? There was an accident in Bellingham. That's all I know. He was coming down a logging road. That's all I know. Oh, jeez. It's that night with Zenith all over again. I, I, I wish I could tell you more, but whatever you're doing, just finish it. Whatever you gotta do. Get to Bellingham as quick as you can. Oh, no, no. I'm turning around right now. I'll be there, say, within the hour. <sighs> Jesus, you almost beat me. I'm actually right. not far from Bellingham, fortunately. <sighs> Ain't one thing fortunate today. Alright, I'll see you when I get there. Just don't do anything stupid. I don't me need don't do it. I'm not the one that does stupid things. Go tell that to your mate who you gave a truck. I am really fucking regretting that right now, and not because I gave it to him. Look, we'll talk when we get when you get into Bellingham, but I gotta go. Right. I'll see you there. In an hour. Right. Aye, an hour. Well, shit. Um, I still am gonna return on, turn off my, uh, camera for a little while, but I'll be bringing it back up. I guess after I get out of the hospital, so I can update you on Mason's uh, condition. I almost said location. I know his location. <sighs> I can't believe this. You know, if he ends up getting himself killed, I'm gonna have to kill myself just so I can slap him. I think. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess. <laughs> well, welcome to the new episode. Well, Mason's doing all right anyway. Uh, he's still alive, at least. I talked to Rusty, and it turns out he went off the road. Well, I didn't hear this from Rusty. I don't know why I said that I talked to him. I did talk to him, but it's not important. Anyway, 
he was coming down a mountain that's over there somewhere. Can't see it around the buildings. Uh, Mason ones, I mean. Pulling some sort of oversized load. I don't know how he got that contract so quickly. Um, but coming down that mountain, and I guess he misjudged or something, and his truck went off the cliff, and I guess the load's still pullable, because Rusty said he'd been contacted about it and asked if I could take care of it. So, that's what I'm going to do. It's a matter of fair urgence. I gotta get up there, get this piece of machinery, whatever the heck it is, and get it back down to Medford as quickly as I can. So, I guess that's what this video is being now. It was gonna be working on my truck, but that's not happening, clearly. Alright. Uh, uh, shit, where'd I put my keys? There they are. See what happens? Mason crashes and I start losing stuff. Okay. Let's do it. Ah. Uh, obviously, still haven't had time to mess with my clutch. That. That's what I was actually going to be doing when I got back to the. Uh, when I got back to the scrapyard. That's not happening clearly. Come on, light. Oh, I guess... Well, wait. We... This direction's left turn signal was just up. And then the other way goes straight? So... Oh, uh, it's doing straight, then turn. I gotcha. Uh, weird light cycle. Oh. Damn it! Again! I'm... I'm having a sudden realization that trying to pull heavy cargo with this truck may, well, be interesting, let's say. I guess the left turn light for the other direction is green right now. So, from what I understand, to get to this... Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Log yard, I guess? We gotta go straight out of Bellingham this way. And then... Twisty, turny, twisty. Hopefully the GPS will get me through all the twists and turns. And then it'll be on to a dirt road. And then it'll take us up the mountain, I guess. Big break strong as ever. Oh. 
helpful. I can just follow the van. My mic isn't mounted to anything right now, by the way. Just in case there are noises going on that there aren't usually. It's because my mic isn't, ha isn't on a mount. I'm just using my magic to hold it in front of my mouth. And that gets tiring. Especially when I've been driving for the past however many hours at this point. Jeez, it's hard to see at night. I wasn't imagining that, right? Everyone else just heard a clang, too? What the heck was that? Oh, I hope something didn't hit my stack. It would probably help if I tried to avoid the leaves. Or, not leaves, but branches. Though I'm not hearing any more clanging, I don't know. That was loud, though. Like, I don't know... I don't know if the mic picked it up or not, but that was freaking loud in the cab of the truck. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. day it's been and going to continue to be from the sound of it I just hope this machine isn't too big cuz Rusty gave me an oversized load sign he happened to have in the back of his car but other than that you know that's all I got I don't have strobe lights um, I don't have flags I don't have anything eh. Dang, we're gonna bust a window. So, according to the GPS, the speed limit on this road is 60 mile an hour. Right. I hope that's why Mason didn't fall off, because he was trying to follow the speed limit. Oh, there's the mirror. Things bouncing off stuff. They need to cut back these tree branches, seriously. Oh, found the logging operation. Ah, oh, they got so many lights up here, it makes it look like the sun's coming off. I mean, I've been to these places before, but I think being on top of the mountain makes a bit of a difference. Oh. Hey, 
Hey, uh, I'm supposed to be here to pick up some sort of heavy machinery. Uh, the driver that was taking it had a bit of an in What? Okay, thanks. Alright, up this way. Jeez. Look at this. Can you imagine now if the logging industry was just a bit busier, so you had a constant stream of trucks trying to come in and out of here going two by two on this road? That would be crazy. Pony back there said that there are some P. Is that it? I see work lights. That's gotta be it. That's big. Jeez, that's bigger than the log machine that I carried before. Look at the size of it. Uh, hold on. There's something missing here. Hold on a second. Just let me. Back. Right. So, well, apparently, what happened was he misjudged this corner, I guess, and went down there somehow managing to survive the truck went the jeep went but i guess the fifth wheel broke off the jeep or something the rest of the trailer survived but it damaged the nose and they can't bend it back so you know it has like the extra long nose extension bit you can see right there that's for it being able to hook up to the jeep they can't get that off of there they can't take it off they can't bend it back because of the way the machine's loaded so i've got to pull the trailer as is as well they don't know if there was any structural damage done to the trailer this is going to tear up my suspension I gotta, I gotta focus, hold on. drop a bike. Uh, I think the trailer might be sitting too high. Let me go out. Alright, so I finally got the truck under the trailer properly. I was right, it was sitting too high. We had to dig out around it a little bit to be able to get the nose down. But that's not why I brought the camera out here. Uh, I, I found out what that clang was. And it was my stack. There you go. The tip was not clean off. The stack used to be twice the height of the truck, basically. 
It's no longer. That looks... <laughs> oh, now I gotta do something about that. Also, I feel like I'm gonna have a great bit of issue getting this tra uh, trailer off this embankment. This is not a light machine. <sighs> Today isn't going well. Um, uh, let me finish hooking this up, and I'll be back with you once we're back in the cab. Right. Broke my stack. My best friend broke himself. Now I'm about to break my suspension. This is gonna be... Okay. It actually wasn't as bad to get off of there as I expected it to be. On the bright side, the sun's finally coming up, so I'll be able to see what I'm doing. Or, <laughs> as I should say, I'll be able to see the cliff as I fall off the side of it. Okay, no Jake Brake. Jake Brake locks the rear wheels. It's no. Well, doesn't lock the rear wheels the same way like regular brakes would, but it definitely is causing sliding, which is not, still not a good thing. got to remember that even though I don't have a tow doll, or a, a G, that's the word, uh, I'm still really long because of that extra nose extension on the trailer. I, I gotta put my mic down. Sorry about the bang. Uh, for all the non-unicorns, changelings, or Kieran, I guess, in my audience, uh, magic doesn't quite always do exactly what you want it to, and I kind of dropped my mic on the floor. <laughs> Oops. Okay, try to avoid the trees. Oh, that was not a good idea. I can, I can just feel... The, the airbag assembly on the back of the truck just disintegrating under the weight of this thing. You know, there's a reason it had a Jeep. Let's say. And this bumpy road definitely isn't helping. Oh, that's not good timing. Hold on. Hey, Wrench. Uh, can I call you back? I'm a little bit... Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I guess I forgot to ever tell you. Yeah, uh, Mason had a bit of an accident. He's in the hospital. No, I've already been to see him. Um, I'm taking care of a load that he was, well, unable to deliver because of his accident. Oops. Yeah, this is really a bad time. Could, could I call back later, please? Alright, cool. Right. Ow! Oh, for crying out loud, what's going on right now? My truck is freaking out. Okay, that was odd. make it down the mountain. I'm gonna be fine. Am 
My brilliant truck can handle the massive weight of the machine. So it'll be good. The trailer won't break in half, because that's another thing I'm seriously worried about. Right. That was genuinely terrifying. Surely we must be nearly down the mountain now. Jeez, the sun has come up. Come on, Hyatt, keep going. Yes. Oh. What? Oh, my GPS turned off. There we go. But, well, then that's still not right. Hold on a second. Okay, need to pay attention to the road as well. Uh, this? There we go. Oh, the road smoothed out a little bit, that's nice. Alright, that looks like the road. Almost out of the bad part of it. Then again, I haven't done much more than 30 this whole time. And running 70 on the interstate might be a bit worse. Oh, getting out of here is going to be interesting as well. Alright, that actually wasn't too bad. I did just realize I forgot to ever put the oversized load sign on the front of the truck, so... Uh... Is that a pull-off? It is, but I don't think it's a pull-off I'm gonna fit in. that cop had better things to do. I believe... I believe... This is Route 20. It's gonna bring me back to Interstate 5, and I think there's somewhere I can stop just before I get on the interstate that I, where I can put my oversized load sign on. I believe. I think that I saw it, um... when I was driving up to Bellingham. I'm also going very slow.
really is pretty scenery up here. Half a mile. And is there somewhere to pull up? There's a traffic light. I'm slow down. I could use the light changing now. Change now, please, light. It didn't change. I'm running it anyway. I finally adjusted my brakes and it seems they started to fade. So they're probably in need, need of readjustment. This is the pull off I was thinking of though. Let's see. Turn over the curb slightly. That'll do. Alright, so I'm gonna get out. Um, I need to put my oversized load banner on. I'm gonna mess with the brakes a little bit. Make sure the trailer brakes are working right. Cause that, that, that really felt like there wasn't much stopping back there. I'm gonna do something about that. Um, but I think I'm also gonna end this episode here. Because I very nearly got myself in a lot of trouble last time I did a run like this. And this one's kind of just as iffy just for different reasons. So, I'll pick this up in the next episode when... Well, I don't know exactly when. I'll decide later. Uh, but thanks for watching anyway. Uh... Yeah, uh... Mason's gonna be fine. We just gotta keep telling ourselves that. Uh, if you would, comment Mason's gonna be fine, just to help raise my spirits. I know I may not sound it on the recording, I'm trying to get better at masking my emotions when I'm talking, so... He's gonna be fine. And I've gotta get this run completed, so thank you for watching. And I'll catch you later.